Hey, Steve. I have two little boys at home. One's five years old and the other one's two months old. Um, my husband and I uh, agree on mostly everything around the house, but he really hates it when I swear I have a sailor's mouth, so it's hard to control it. <laughs> oh, you, um, you, 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 oh, you cuss? I, I cuss all the time. Yeah, it's oh, like okay. natural. I'll probably do it. I do it in my sleep probably, and I don't even know. But uh, so the one thing I want to ask you is uh, how do I, uh, what, what age is good to introduce uh, some colorful words to my kids' vocabulary? At, What's know. a good age? Yeah, like is it to yeah, introduce I mean, cussing? Yeah, well, because I, I don't think I'm gonna stop. You know, like he suggested make a jar, and every time I cuss, and then I told him I'm gonna be broke by the time, you know, if I ever yeah. stop cussing. I think you should that. introduce cussing to a child at two. At two? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's two. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you that don't have kids that's a little stunned by that answer, the reason I say two, because two is the beginning of the year is called the terrible twos. That's when your child has mastered the word no. <laughs> come over here, no. Well, you go ahead, no. Well, you come here, no. That's when you introduce cussing right there. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, the hell you are. <laughs> I didn't get introduced to cussing until I was four. No. Was it bilingual too? Because I do some bilingual cussing too, where it comes out in mean? Spanish and oh, you cuss in Spanish? He doesn't speak Spanish, so it's kind of funny because I tell my son, shh. You know. I didn't really get introduced to Spanish cussing until I said, uh, gave away the wrong title at Miss Universe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I got introduced to Spanish cussing. <laughs> about four months. Uh, uh, That's why I, I would I would have liked to someone have introduced Spanish profanity to me years back. Yeah, it's, it so like I would have known how to take it. The good thing though, God is very smart. He, I didn't know Spanish profanity, so all the, the hate that I was getting, I didn't really feel it because <laughs> I didn't know. Where's Anit? Anit. Hey, Steve. So I'm a sophomore in college studying biology, and I live in the dorm still. And my roommate, she's my best friend from high school, so there's no problems there. We love living with each other, no problems. But our neighbors now, like, they're loud. Like, when I say loud, it's not like that annoying, like, talking. They make noises sometimes, and it's just like, what are they doing? And I'm just wondering, I'm like, okay, we tried being civil. We're like, oh, we'll just, like, you know, introduce ourselves, tell them to keep it down. Didn't work. We went to the RA, didn't work. So I was just kind of wondering, like, if you could, you know, help me come up with a plan to, you know, yeah. shut them up finally. Well, you don't have to shut them up. You just participate. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. It's like a competition. No, see, you can hear them clearly through the wall, right? Mm -hmm. If you can hear them, they can hear you. Okay. You know, and you don't know what they're doing. I pretty much can tell you what they're doing. Okay. You just have to get at it okay. and just talk back to them. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it like that. <laughs> yeah, just talk back. Okay. Thank you, darling. Where's uh, Rhonda? KFC just made a new bath bomb, and it's shaped like a... A new what? Bath bomb. Bath? Bomb. Bomb. Yeah, you... KFC? Like... Yes, KFC. Made some for a bath? Yes. And it's shaped like a drumstick. It's right there on the screen. <laughs> okay, what is, what is a bath? What does that do? So you throw it in the bathtub, and then after you take a bath in it, it dissolves, and after you come out, you smell like fried chicken grease. <laughs> so I was wondering if that's something that you would like to use, since I know you have a love for fried chicken. What? <laughs> And if not... You know, I have a love for fried chicken. Yes, that's... Okay, now I'm not going to take that the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason I can't get mad at you because I do love fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to sound... <laughs> not trying to buy into stereotypes or none of that. I know a lot of white people like fried chicken, too. 
But I don't know no damn body want to smell like fried chicken. <laughs> Why don't they try some other foods? Don't nobody want to smell like no damn fried chicken. <laughs> so what, do, what do you think would be a good um, bath bomb to make? A bath bomb would be a Krispy Kreme donut bath bomb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a bath and come out smelling like Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> oh, I got, I got a better one than that. Because I cannot pass this up when I go up to Universal. Get out the water and smell like a Cinnabon. <laughs> and if you don't like sweets, I'll tell you something else. When I go through the airport, you know what I can't pass up? That, uh, that hot pretzel store with the hot pretzels. Walk around, smell like a hot pretzel. Wetzels. <laughs> Wetzels pretzels. <laughs> yeah. That'll be hot. All right, who wants to win some money? Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.